Hello students, in this session we are going to study the shear stress distribution for rectangular section. We have a beam which has the rectangular section and we have to draw the shear stress diagram or shear stress distribution for that rectangular section, right? So suppose there is a beam which has a rectangular section like this. This is a rectangular section of the beam and we have to draw the shear stress distribution in this uh, rectangular section from the neutral axis to the outer fiber, right? This is our neutral axis and from neutral axis to the outer fiber, what is the shear stress distribution, right? Now, you know the formula. What is the formula for shear stress distribution? That tau is equal to F, which is shear force on this section, A y bar by IB, where B is the width, B is the width of this section, B, and uh, suppose the depth is also given, the D is the depth of this section, height or depth of this section, right? Isn't it? So, what is the shear stress distribution? Now, you know that when we were de deriving this equation, tau is equal to F A Y bar by I B, there were some unknowns, some variables were there, right? A Y bar, you know that A, A was a small strip, small strip we have taken and A Y bar was the moment of that small strip about the neutral axis. So we have taken a small strip there, right? So it means A Y bar, A and Y bar is a variable, right? Was a variable when we were derived this equation, right? And there may be chances that B may be variable for rectangular section, it is not variable, but the width for triangular section, suppose this is a triangular section, the width may be variable. At upper part, there is small width. At lower part, this is a bigger width, right? For circular section, B is variable, right? So there may be B variable, right? So there is a Y bar variable and there may be there may be B variable for many sections like triangular and circular section. For rectangular section, B is not variable, right? So, if this is variable, then we have to find out the shear stress distribution. Then again, we have to take the section, a small section, and we have to find out the shear stress on that section. And using that section, we have to find out the shear stress distribution, right? So what we will do that we will take a section with small, small strip, small strip, right? So it is better to take the upper part of the strip so that it may be easy for, to demonstrate the shear stress distribution for the entire section. So we are taking a small part, small strip of this section, this part, and we want to find out the shear stress on this part and that will be applicable for the entire section, right? So what is the shear stress on this part, right? So what we can do is uh, the width of the beam is constant width because it is a rectangular section. So width is constant. And suppose this section is at a distance y from the fiber, from the neutral axis, right? Neutral axis, it is at a distance y, right? And because in, we need y bar, we need y bar. So y bar is the distance of center of gravity or centroid of this part this is the centroid of this part from the neutral axis. So centroid. So this is basically the y bar. This is the y bar from the neutral axis, right? From the neutral axis, the centroid of this strip y bar and area of this strip. What is the area of this strip? Total depth is D. So what is the area of this strip? D is the total depth. What is area of this strip? This is D by 2 d by 2 minus y, this is the thickness of this strip. So thickness of this strip will be, thickness of this strip will be, I am writing here, thickness of this strip, because area will be required, area will be required. So b is the width and thickness of this strip is this thickness. This thickness is, because total depth is d by 2, so this thickness will be, this part will be, this half d by 2 minus y. So this will be d by 2 minus y. This is the thickness of this small strip, this small strip, the thickness of 
this small strip this is uh, d by 2 minus y the thickness of this small strip right this small strip d by 2 half of d minus y so, thickness of thickness. so area will be b multiplied by this thickness right and d, d is the total depth of this or height of this uh, rectangular section right so now what is this area this area this area will be equal to this area will be to this thickness of this strip multiplied by the width of this strip right so this will be d by 2 minus y multiplied by b this this is the area of this strip right d by 2 minus y multiplied by the width right and what is y bar y bar y bar will be equal to uh, y y plus uh, half of this part half of this strip right the half of this thickness because this is slightly higher at a distance half of this part right so this will be y this from the neutral axis plus this part this part that is half of this thickness d by 2 minus y so that will be equal to when we solve it we will get d by 2 plus y so this is the y bar we have obtained the area and y bar both we have obtained the area and y bar so put this value a and y bar in this equation suppose this is our main equation equation number one so put the value of a and y bar in equation number one put in equation number one what we are getting is the shear stress so that will be equal to f a area is d by 2 minus y multiplied by b this is the area thickness multiplied by width multiplied by y bar y bar is d by 2 plus y plus y divided by i b and b is constant so it is uh, easy equation so it is i b right so f d by 2 minus y b d by 2 plus y multiplied by i b so what we are getting is that is d by 2 minus y d by 2 plus y d square by 4 so this will be d square by 4 minus y square b to b cancel b to b cancel so it will come out to be it will come out to be f by f f by i d square by 4 minus y square so this is d square by 4 minus y square d square by 4 minus equation right so uh, there is something wrong in there that this is this will come out to be half of d by 2 plus this is half half of d by 2 plus y so here one half will come there will be a half missing here this is half of d by 2 plus y. so here it will come out to be 2i 2i and b and b cancel so you will get f upon 2i d square by 4 minus y square so shear stress is shear stress is f by 2i d square by 4 minus y square so this is the shear stress at a point on the section right and it is parabolic so this is a parabolic parabolic variation and as y decreases as y decreases shear stress increases you can see here y is in negative sign so if y is decreasing shear stress will be increasing right so you will get and at y is equal to 0 shear stress will be maximum so at at y is equal to 0 at y equal to 0 when y will be 0 this will be maximum so this will be f d square upon 8 i so tau will be maximum so that will be equal to f d square upon f d square upon 8 i 8 i so this is the maximum shear stress maximum shear stress f d square upon 8 i right so at at center at y is equal to 0 the shear stress is maximum at outer fiber shear stress is 0 you can see here that when y is equal to uh, y is equal to d by 2 when y is equal to d by 2 shear stress is 0 so at 
y equal to d by 2 outer fiber this is the outer fiber outer fiber so you will get shear stress equal to 0 so tau will be equal to 0 so tau is 0 at outer fiber both outer fibers and maximum at the center at y is equal to 0 because y is 0 at center because we are taking y from the center so y is 0 at the center and shear stress is maximum at the center and the variation is parabolic because y square term is there so you will get this type of distribution you will get this type of distribution for this so this will be maximum at the center this is tau max this is tau max at the center right which value which has a value of fd square by 8, 8i so this is how we obtain the shear stress distribution in a uh, rectangular section right first we have written the derived equation which we have already derived in the previous section that tau is equal to f a y bar by i b from this equation using this equation we have obtained the shear stress distribution first we have seen that a y bar is variable because when while deriving this equation it was variable b may be variable in certain cases like rectangular and circular cases but in rectangular cases uh, in triangular and circular cases in rectangular this b is uniform so in triangular b may be variable in circular b may be variable so uh, what we have done that because this is variable we have to find out the shear stress at any section of the beam any part of this section so we have taken a upper part here we have taken a strip uh, at a distance y from the uh, neutral axis and uh, this strip has a width of and uh, thickness of d by 2 minus y and width of b right so area of this strip will be d by 2 minus y multiplied by b and the y bar the centroid of this uh, strip from the neutral axis is given by y plus half of d by 2 minus y and this will come out to be this equation put in this equation we will get the uh, parabolic distribution of the shear stress uh, from that we have find out the maximum shear stress and geo stress shear stress at the fiber outer fiber and maximum shear stress at the center now in this case only we can find out the average shear stress what is average shear stress and what is relation between tau and tau average what is relation between tau and tau average right so tau max we have obtained tau max we have obtained as f d square upon 8 i now what is tau average tau average average shear stress average shear stress means the force shear force acting on this section divided by the area of this total area of this section that will be the average shear stress so this is the force multiplied by the area and what is the area area that is b into d b multiplied by d is the area so bd is the area area of this section right and and what is the moment of inertia of a rectangular section moment of inertia of a rectangular section so i of a rectangular section is given by bd cube by 12 so i is equal to bd cube by 12 this is known to us this is known to us we can put here we can put here so we can find out tau max tau max will be equal to f d square upon 8 multiplied by the moment of inertia that is b d q by 12 12 12 will be uh, came to numerator so it will come out to be 3 by 2 3 by 2 f by b d so this is tau max 3 by 2 f by bd but what is f by bd that is tau average so this part is basically tau average average shear stress right because force upon the total area this is the area of the beam so tau max will come out to be the relation between tau max and tau average is this is tau average 3 by 2 times tau average so we are getting maximum shear stress will be equal to 1.5 times the tau average the maximum shear stress is 1.5 times the average shear stress so there will be some average shear stress here there will be some average shear stress here and this is this maximum shear stress is 1.5 times the average shear stress right so this is the average shear stress
tau average. So we have obtained a relation between maximum shear stress and average shear stress. The also we have obtained the maximum shear stress, what is the value of maximum shear stress and the general shear stress we have obtained that this is a parabolic distribution.